With a little over a year away from James Gunn's Superman releasing into theaters, I thought it would be fun in retrospect to take a look at Hot Toys' top 10 best DC releases, at least in my opinion. So let's get started. And starting off our list at number 10, I have the Batman Returns 2-pack. This is a older release from Hot Toys. They don't do a lot of 2-packs anymore, but with this one, you had a Bruce Wayne figure in his tuxedo with the Batman Returns suit. A lot of people prefer this suit as opposed to the original 89 suit. I'm somewhere in between where I like them both equally, but this is definitely still a figure that I want to pick up. I'm hoping that they ended up doing a 2.0 down the line, but man, even if they don't, this is still a classic release. For a figure that was released in 2016, this still holds the test of time in my opinion, and that's why it's on number 10. Coming in at number 9, I have Peacemaker, released last year from Hot Toys. This was easily, in my opinion, one of the best, if not the best, DC release from last year. The only thing that could have made it better if they would have given us an unmasked head sculpt. I believe So-So Toys or Present Toys has given us that. But you still had a decent amount of accessories with this guy. You had two different helmets. You had Eagly with two sets of wings. You had the Peacemaker gun, which was easily broken out of the holster for whatever reason they couldn't take it out. The axe, the sword, different sets of hands. This guy was a decent solid release. 10 out of 10 in my opinion, and that's why he's at number 9. I've honestly moved him back and forth around the list, and tomorrow my answer might be different. He might be number 6. Taking number 8 spot, I gave it to the OG clown prince of crime himself, Jack Nicholson's Joker. Now, I went ahead and threw in the classic look as well as the mime Joker, just because it was really hard to choose between the two of which looks better. They're both fantastic releases. They both knocked it out of the park in terms of likeness to Jack Nicholson. Hot Toys was really setting their reputations here back in 2013 when these two were released. And if I had to choose which one I like over the other, I'm going to have to give it to that classic purple coat suit, man. It's just a creepy looking figure, that grin, that, that smile. This is definitely one that I'm hoping that they give us a 2.0 down the road. The hierarchy of ranking of these DC Hot Toys is about to change. And that's why this is at number 7 with the DX31 and I believe the DX32 Black Adam figures. Released this past February in 2024. This is an example of a figure that is miles and miles better than the movie itself. This is honestly like the Morbius release for DC figures where it's like it looks really really good and you kind of want to add it just because it's a good looking figure. The movie was whatever, but the likeness to Dwayne Johnson, the overall suit design it just works here the colors pop this pops out in the display i've seen it in some justice league dc shelves and it looks fantastic i for one cannot wait to pick this one up all right last two pack guys i promise <laughs> but coming in at number six i have the black suit superman and the nightmare batman from Zack snyder's justice league now Zack snyder's justice league if you know the lore or the backstory behind that film this is already a set worth picking up if you're a fan of that if you're trying to represent that era of Zack Snyder in your collection. This Superman right here, man, this is one of those figures where it's like just the presence and the display pops off. I got to see it at Austin Nicholas's collection and this is one of those figures I'm still debating. Nightmare Batman, I don't really agree with Batman having a gun, but you cannot deny how badass Batman looks, how badass he looks with all his accessories on him, with the trench coat. This is what Batman would look like in the zombie apocalypse, I'm sure. At fifth place, I have Miss Quinzel herself, Miss Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad from the first movie. Of course, this is another example of a figure being much better than the movie itself. Hot Toys really popped off when it came to the Suicide Squad film, and I really wish that they would have done the same treatment with the second movie. This was a close second to Deadshot taking number five spot, but that likeness to Margot Robbie is undeniable. This isn't my favorite Margot Robbie Harley Quinn outfit by a long shot, but this is still one I'm debating putting with the Suicide Squad just because of how good it looks. This is one of those figures definitely pick up. If you can find it for a good price, it's kind of skyrocketed in the secondary market, but definitely worth the pickup. And taking number four spot is, of course, Ray Fisher Cyborg, man. This is a figure that fans craved for for the longest time after Justice League's line through Hot Toys failed to give us one. Zack Snyder's Justice League came out during the pandemic and Hot Toys said, you know what, let's go ahead and give it to the fans. And this came out gorgeous, man. This head sculpt is fantastic. The likeness to Ray Fisher is undeniable. This is one of those figures also too where the proportions can be a little bit more realistic just because you're not having to worry about clothing or an outfit. This is just mechanical parts and similar to like Iron Man, they knocked it out of the park with this one. Some die cast parts in this one would have been really cool but I understand why they didn't do that. 
but this doesn't change the fact that this is still one of my favorite DC figures and also one of my favorite characters in the movie, man. This scene with him and the single mother, just heartbreaking stuff, man. Cyborg for the win, bro. Ray Fisher was an incredible actor for this part and I'm glad I have it in my collection. And getting down to the top three, my personal favorite Batflex suit coming in at number three is the Armored Batman. I went ahead and went with the Black Chrome Edition. This for me is just more badass and resembles them fighting in the rain. If you're looking for the screen accurate movie look, go with the regular edition. But for me, I have to go with the Black Chrome all the way, man. This is one of those figures and Batman figures alone that just the man presence in the shelf. If I had to choose just one Batflex figure, it would be hard to choose between this one and the new 2.0 coming out. These both demand so much presence in the display, and honestly, I cannot wait to have him fighting the NR Superman. It's gonna be one hell of a display. Coming in at number two is my personal favorite pick for Wonder Woman's produced from Hot Toys, and that's going to the WB100 Celebration Wonder Woman figure. I missed out on this thing like I'm sure a lot of you did, and if I found one on the secondary market for a good price, I would have a hard time saying no to it. Granted, it's the same head sculpt we've gotten with other Wonder Woman figures like the Golden Armor Wonder Woman, and I'm pretty sure with the 1984 release, just standard armor version. But this is honestly, in my opinion, the definite Wonder Woman. This is the one I would want to display with the Justice League. My buddy Evil Sneaker has this one, and I'm uber jealous of him for having this one. This is a solid, solid release, man. And if you're looking for the definite Wonder Woman Gal Gadot, this is the one to go with. And in my opinion, for the best DC Hot Toys figure, of course, coming in at number one is the Pattinson, Pattinson himself, Robert Pattinson's 2022, The Batman. Now, a lot of people have already given their praises to this. I've seen a lot of people are now getting it from Sideshow, which is awesome. This, in my opinion, for me, is Batman. This is my favorite Batman interpretation. This is my favorite suit. Even if you're going with the in-art route, this is still a great figure to pick up for an unmasked head sculpt. The likeness to Robert Pattinson is incredible. Like this figure is so damn good. I only have two complaints with it and that's the collar and the cape just being thin. Everything else about this figure is a win, right? And that doesn't happen too often with Hot Toys. 10 out of 10 head sculpt, 10 out of 10 suit. Just an overall really incredible release. This figure does not miss and that's exactly why it is at my number one spot. So that was my list, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below what your ranking is. Turn that comment section into a debate. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Drink your damn spotchka.